So the baby closest to the mother, that is Bonnie, and the one on the left, that is Tank. So you can see the bunch of rock feeding to stand. They are allowed to, you are allowed to hunt them now, but there's lots of paperwork and it's quite difficult. But there's a subspecies known as the blessed buck. And because they're a subspecies, they can interbreed, but it is illegal to do so. So you aren't allowed to have bontebok and blessed buck on the same property. So we just have bontebok. If you do want to have the two, they have to be separated by a fence, which makes it a little bit silly to have one <coughs> buck, basically, or antelope separated into one enclosure but you may notice that some of ours have ear tags I don't see any now but it's because we bought some in and they first have to go for DNA testing one to prove that they aren't blessed buck or they haven't got blessed buck mixed in them and the other is to prove that they aren't related to any of the ones that you have here because their numbers got so low there was a possibility of inbreeding so that's why they make sure that none of them are related and also that there isn't blessed buck. Because if the blessed buck and bontebok breed, it causes gen sorry, a giraffe. And um, I'm not too sure the exact species of ours, but from what I've seen, we might actually have two on the park. And the, the difference is in the patterning and the size on their legs and their stripes, stripes can meet under their tummy. Whereas the mountain zebra are basically just black and white, a little bit smaller and have white legs and a white belly. Are they white with black stripes or black with white stripes? If you look at the legs then you can tell. <laughs> the males, they'll be a little bit darker, so their stripes will be a little bit darker in colour and also more distinct. So their edges will be more defined where the females might look a little bit fuzzy. But now with the rain, they basically look the same sort of um, colour and darkness. Um, but you'll see with our babies, if we come across them a little bit later, they're a little bit more furry, as well as a little bit more brown. And they're a little bit more furry because now while they're still young, and so small and thin, they need a bit of insulation. So the fur is there to help insulate them until they put on a bit of weight. Sometimes a little bit silly. 
put them all on the fridge. But with that bush buck that we saw running across, mm. they're actually the only animal that's indigenous to this area. Too. The rest of the animals we have on the park are actually yeah. has to look after the babies. Oh my. Normally a female can have about four babies because she has four teeth. Huh. And each baby knows exactly which teeth is theirs and they do not share. <laughs> so you may see how they go on their elbows or knees to eat. That's because they eat the lower parts of plants. Because of the shape. <laughs> this tree here has basically been chewing all around and that's why there's only leaves right at the top of the giraffe. They've eaten it all the way around to that height. <laughs> Yeah, a chunk of meat there, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> He's very hungry, eh? Yeah? Ah. Greedy old boy. <laughs> I'm just taking a piece of paper from home.